Let's just get started then with today's question here on equations and inequalities. So a nice, easy, straightforward question here, right? All we want to do then is just use algebra to solve this inequality here, right? And our answer in set notation. Again, three marks for something like this, really easy stuff. So first things first then, let's just subtract 20 from both sides here. We get x squared minus x minus 20 is strictly greater than zero. Perfect, right? What we'd hope here is that this would factorize, and the good news here is that this does indeed factorize. So what do we get here then? We get x minus 5, and is it x plus 4? Let's just quickly double check that. That's really greater than 0. x squared of 4x minus 5x, yes, minus x, minus 5 times 4 is minus 20. Perfect. What we also require here is a quick sketch. Don't be lazy. Just draw a quick sketch here. I've got my y-axis. I've got my x-axis here. Oops, I can't write. So it cuts through the x-axis here at minus 4 and 5 then. So minus 4 and 5. And it cuts through the y-axis at minus 20. So join this all up here. We'll get something like this right. And what we're looking for then is where this quadratic here, quadratic curve, is above the x-axis, right? So what I can see then is we have two regions here, and I'll sketch these in different colors. We have everything to the left of minus four here, in other words, less than minus four, and everything to the right here of five, in other words, greater than five. So if we give the answer here in set notation, then what do we get? So we have our curly brackets here for x. And what we're saying then is x here must be straight less than minus four. Or what we can also say here, so when we're saying all, we use the union here of these two sets, right? So union then, again for x here, and this is for x being strictly greater than 5. So x is strictly greater than 5, and there we go. Then that gives us the solution here for today's question.